story for today, The Mighty Convert. At the house just down the street and around the corner, our friend Christopher Peeper seems to be really lost in thought. Hmm. It's a puzzlement, all right. I wonder what it means. Hi, Craig! <laughs> what you doing out here? I thought we were going to play tennis. Not right now. Look at Mom. What's she doing? Fixing a really special dinner. Oh, I'll say. Look at that. The question is, why? Good afternoon, Mrs. Peeper. Hello, Joy. Glad to see you. How about joining us? We're having a party. Oh, yes, thank you. Then I guess I'd better start preparing for one more. <laughs> huh? Now you see what I mean? Like what? Well, she's not herself. So I've been racking my brain about it. Why should this day be special? Someone's birthday? Nope. It's four months away from my birthday, and Dad's was just last week. And Mom says she wants to forget hers. <laughs> Could be. Is it your birthday, Ruffles? Hmm. Maybe Dad remembers. When is Ruffles' birthday? Hmm, that's a very good question. I know I wrote it down somewhere. Of course, it must be in my diary. Hmm. Now all I have to do is... <coughs> Find my no. Oh dear. <laughs> Sorry, Dad. You keep a diary too. You bet. It's right here. Oh, I see. What? Oh, no one but I may read it. Hmm. Christopher, I found it. Great. It's next month. That settles that. Right. Huh? It's Superbook. Oh, do we have time for a Superbook adventure? Sure. He'll have us there and back in no time at all. Hmm. I wonder where we'll go this time. No need to wonder, Joy. Look and see. Who's that? That's a man named Paul who called himself an apostle born out of season. Ready to meet him? Say when. Jesus was lifted up to heaven. He told his apostles to go and teach all nations the things he had taught them. Now, while some listened and believed, many people weren't ready for such teaching, and the apostles suffered great persecution. Now, there's the city of Jerusalem as it was in those days, and that's where you'll meet Paul. But before he became known as Paul, his name was Saul of Tarsus. So after you land, be on the lookout for someone named Saul. We're here, but where is everybody? Well, Superbook brought us here for a reason. Someone's coming on the run. I wonder what he did. Maybe he's a thief. Excuse me, sir. 
What do you want? Why is everyone running after that young man? Because he's a follower of Jesus Christ. Huh? But has the man harmed anyone? It's enough that he's a Christian stuffing people's minds with lies. Are you coming with us or not, Saul? Coming. I wouldn't miss this. Hear that? Called him Saul, the man Superbook told us to find. He went that away? Right. <laughs> Do you take back what you said, Stephen? If I took it back, I would be betraying my God. Betray? You've already spoken blasphemies against our Lord God. We have witnesses. Blasphemer! I heard him. Right, stoning's too good for this blasphemer. What's happening? I'm afraid the people are picking on that poor man. All I did was repeat the teachings of Jesus. We don't want don't you to mention, mention that, that name. Behold, I see the heavens opened and the Son of Man standing on the right hand of God. Jesus, forgive them of their sins. Oh. Oh. <laughs> see what happens to Christian apostles? Let's burn their church. Yeah. Come on, then. Let's go. Come on. He's certainly no friend of Jesus. Superbook said he'd be changed when his name is Paul. I suggest we follow and see. Mm -hmm. Right. And burn it down. Right. <laughs> Don't let those Christians get away. Capture them. that we mean business. All right, men, Saul of Tarsus is waging all-out war on Christians. Let's go on to Damascus! Persecute me. I can't see. Who is it that's speaking? It is I, Jesus. Jesus? Show yourself then. But you cannot see. That's true, I'm blind. What would you have me do then? Arise and go into the city, and it will be told you what you must do. All right. Oh. <gasps> Oh, I can't see. Help me! Help me! You're all my friends. Where are you when I need you? Oh, I'm really blind. Someone, anyone, help! Help! Oh. Even though he was awfully mean, I feel kind of sorry for him. Can we help you, sir? Huh? Who's that? My name's Christopher. Oh, you must be the kids I met in Jerusalem. Take my hand. I'm blind. I think Jesus would want us to do it. Oh, that name. Must I be forever reminded of Jesus? Give me your hand. Thank you. Take me to Damascus. <laughs> So, finally. Saul, Saul, we've been waiting for you. Welcome, Saul. Saul, you've got to help us. There are too many Christians in this town. Got to do something about it. We thought you'd be willing to. 
What's the matter? What happened to your eyes? I'm fine. Just a little bit tired. That's all, just a bit tired. Excuse me. We best go along. Listen, kid, keep out of this. Now, just wait a minute. These kids were good enough to help me when I needed it. And stop worrying so about the Christians. We'll get them. Meanwhile, let us alone. Ananias, I would speak with you of one called Saul of Tarsus. I hear, Lord Jesus. I want you to lay hands on him and pray for his sight to be restored. But, Lord, I've heard from many people how much evil he has committed against your followers at Jerusalem. Ananias, don't be afraid, for he is a chosen vessel unto me to bear my name before the Gentiles and kings and the children of Israel. Yes, my Lord. Is your name Saul of Tarsus? It is. Mm -hmm. uh, what are you doing? Saul, you all right? Don't worry, my friend. Brother Saul, the Lord Jesus sent me that you might receive your sight and be filled with the Holy Spirit. see you. Really? I can see again. Wonderful! Brother Saul, you have been healed by the Lord Jesus. Him again? Huh? Saul of Tarsus doing with us? I know he's been persecuting us Christians. Something has happened to the man. Saul, why do you persecute me? Persecute me. Persecute, persecute me. me. Jesus, he saved me. Brothers, for in truth I may call you my brothers. My eyes have really been opened. Now I see. Brothers, please forgive the crimes that were committed by Saul of Tarsus. I forgo that name. From now on I shall be known as Paul. Become Paul and a better man. What? Saul has joined with the Christians? I don't believe it. He's even changed his name. Now he's Paul. So, Paul, whatever, he won't get away with betraying us. Let's watch the gate. He won't get out of Damascus alive. Paul, the people of Damascus are plotting against your life. You must get out of here right away. I'm aware. Ananias, before I leave, please answer one question. Of course. How in the world may I repay him? My friend, you'll soon know. Attention, radar picking up, big mob. Ananias, how are we going to get Paul away? And soon, Paul. We've taken care of it. You three are to join him. Now all four of you get in the basket, quickly. Men, lower away. Thank you, Ananias, and every one of you for everything. We will pray for your safety. God be with you. Hurry now. There you are. Let's go. Hmm? Ananias! Oh, no. Paul, come. We gotta hurry. 
Yes. What must I do, O oh Lord? Bring my message to a waiting world. All I did was repeat the teachings of Jesus. Jesus was crucified for our sins, for our sins, for our sins. That's it. And now I know my mission in life. Huh? But of course, I've been called by Jesus to be an apostle of his. Yes. I will cast off the work of darkness and put on the armor of light. Moreover, brothers, I declare unto you the gospel, the good news of Christ crucified and risen from the dead. For as in Adam all die, even so in Christ shall all be made alive. Our Savior sits at the right hand of God. And I might as well be dead. Why doesn't your Jesus help us cripples? Huh? That poor fellow's a cripple, not been able to walk since he was born. Right. Why don't you prove your words by healing the man? In the name of Jesus the Christ, I command you to stand up. Mm -hmm. Hear me? Oh, I'm standing. And I'm walking. This man is God. Worship him, worship him. What's this? Don't worship me. I'm but a man like you. I'm but a vessel. It's God who gives life and health. Now you're a Christian. You betrayed us. We better leave. Know what we do with converts? Stone them to death or something much worse. <laughs> leave Paul alone. He's our friend. Oh, uh, yeah? You want to make something of it? Brother Paul is about God's business. So leave him alone. No blasted Christians are going to tell me what to do about Paul. Take that! <laughs> Careful of the kids. It's Paul! Stop fighting. Stop fighting. Someone, anyone, make them stop. Fighting can be dangerous to your health. Make them stop it. Stop! Here come the Roman commander. Make way! <laughs> What's all the ruckus about here? Who's responsible for this shameful disturbing of the peace? Well, you see, Commander, we were trying to make an example of a man who's a betrayer. Oh, were you? Have you forgotten that you are under the rule of the Roman Empire? It's up to us to decide if a man is guilty or not guilty. But I say people who disturb the peace are guilty. <gasps> Paul, be brave. This is your opportunity. You must go to Rome and there help spread the good news. Mm -hmm. Please, Commander, send me to Rome that I may receive Roman justice. Oh. Ship you to Rome? All right, your trial will take place in Rome. Take this man in custody. Yes, sir. But Paul, Paul! Go, go. Never find out what happened? Not unless it were possible to join him. Your wish is my command. Friends, listen. 
I believe God. His promises are sure. We will not lose one single life. In fact, we shall all be shipwrecked on an island. Take courage, men! Men, follow! God saved us, not I. With the kind of faith that Paul had, it's easy to see how he brought many people to worship God. Not only in Rome, but in many cities and countries, this mighty convert helped people to know and understand and love the Lord Jesus. But it's time now for you three to return to your own time. There's a big surprise waiting for you there. So let's go. Anyone guess why today is so special? I think I know the reason. It's because Ruffles' birthday is next month. I think it's because today's the anniversary of the only time I got a hundred in spelling. Is that right? <laughs> You're both wrong. Then what's this celebration for? Would you believe? I'm going to have a baby. You're going to have a... What? Great! I'll have a brother! Oh, I think that's wonderful! Thank you, Joy. Congratulations, Dad! <laughs> <laughs> Don't you know it's so, so simple? simple. 